right. What's up, yo? We finally got the underhandle mirrors. So we're gonna get these set up and see what they're looking like. Hopefully they look good. Yeet, super easy to get on and off. The 14 millimeter. And we got the Mr. Lucky's under handle. This is kind of small. I feel like this isn't gonna work as well as uh, I was thinking it would. Let's find out in a minute. It looks kind of like good in the front here. I like how it's all laid out, like they're in line with the lights pretty much. And then this upper area is cleaned off, which is nice. It makes it a little bit more bare bones. And then obviously from back here, you can tell, I don't know. I think it looks good. I definitely like how it looks. I think it looks better like this. We're gonna have to go for a test ride and kind of see what it's like to ride with them like that. I mean, I've ridden without any mirrors, which is not necessarily legal, but uh, I mean, realistically, you should be checking over your shoulders like that when you're turning anyways, right? Like, I don't trust anybody and I don't trust my mirrors, so I don't use mirrors because I'm gonna look. I'm gonna like hard look as, uh, yeah, I don't know, that's just the way I ride, so. Um, yeah, I think it looks better. It's a lot more cleaned up. And when I'm sitting on the bike, I like the, I like the view that it gives me. You get a good, if you tilt them super far to the side like this and a little bit up, you get a good view of your far right side and then you're like a little bit up behind you. Cause I was kind of testing it with the two cars in the driveway here to kind of see what it would look like from a perspective of like, she's following me and I'm far left. And then that car would be in the farther lane. So I don't know, it kind of works. We're gonna go and go for a ride here in a little bit, so. One complaint that I've had so far though with just putting them on was they hit the tank a little bit, so that's why I had to position them here, because they still hit the tank. Obviously, you're not going to be turning like that. It's not a normal bike, but it's just something to consider um, in case you get into a situation where you need to turn the wheel. I don't really know what that situation would be, but it's there, right? It's something to take into consideration. Now that was a proper turn. So we're checking out these new mirrors. Let's get up next to this car and take a look and see how soon or when we can see them, if at all. Okay, so I can kind of see them actually. That's kind of crazy. It's not necessarily the best. I guess we're gonna just have to gun it, dude. We're gonna gun it. G unit. <laughs> Okay, so like it was working. <laughs> Trying to adjust it while I'm driving is not working at all. Holy shit. But like, yeah, I mean, I like them. I'm gonna say I like that it, I like, I like the profile. I like how it cleans, cleans it up. <clears throat> That's for sure. so good to ride it's a little chillier today i'm not gonna lie it's like fuck i don't know 55 ish the only thing is like i can't like see directly behind me unless i kind of like look down and then i can see directly behind me so that's the only thing that i kind of dislike with having the under bar mirrors at least with these ones i don't know if i had some that stuck out over here more they might be better but these are really like low profile as you can tell they're only like five or six inches i believe 
and uh, the mirrors are only two or three inches in diameter so they're not the biggest but with that car next to me I could see them pretty well so like I mean there is that in terms of functionality they are not the best I will say at least for how I have them set up I don't know if I can even I could probably maximize this one a little bit more but this one I only have another like quarter inch or so I'm not paying any attention just fucking speeding towards this red light good stop though like we got about an inch maybe a half inch of movement here I don't think this fits up behind here it might I think overall the bike looks cleaner in terms of like proper functionality it's not necessarily there it's hard to tell when we're not like in full traffic with that one car next to us like I said like I could see their full car with them directly next to me until they got fully into my blind spot right like like right where my hand is at so I don't really know if there's anything you can do about that probably not unless I went back to like the normal mirrors which I don't necessarily really want to do I don't know I've ridden BMX bikes my whole life and rode them everywhere so I'm used to driving on like this part of the damn road and paying attention to all the traffic around me and you know like that situational awareness and one thing that I want to talk about because I didn't talk about it in the gear debate video something that I kind of ignorantly just looked over and didn't think to mention which is accidents happen obviously so you know you could have a tire blowout that is a thing you could have something go wrong engine wise and you could start losing oil and then slip out on your oil or your engine seizes and then your rear tire breaks or something you know like it something could happen to cause you to lock up essentially is what I'm saying and in that moment if you fall you fall and there's not much that you can really do to avoid that so really that's all I wanted to say was accidents can happen and there's things that will happen with your bike that you can't prevent that could end up with you on the ground and in that situation yes you want to have gloves and gear on I get it but I'm not gonna wear leathers in the summer like it's not gonna happen I'm not gonna wear them all the time I'm gonna end up riding in shorts it is what it is like I said I trust my general rideability accidents will happen and if something happens with me as a rider then that is my own fault and I have to own up to that right and that's on me to do as a man and as a human being um, I think that's something that all of us have to consider when doing anything in life and a lot of people won't even own up and take the blame for their own actions so the fact that I often do I mean there's times where I'm gonna make excuses and this and that we're humans is what we do we try to fucking make excuses but at the end of the day I own up and take the blame I take the blame for things that I don't even do in a lot of the situations in my life because it's just the higher road to take and it makes you not necessarily a better person but maybe the stronger person I don't know I don't know if it makes me the ignorant person for like not having an edge but at the end of the day like I'm not gonna sacrifice certain things because of my feelings you know so that's it really there's like so many different situations when it's applicable to dress a certain way it, I'm literally just cruising yes I get that I should have gloves on it's gonna help me in the long run instinctually as humans we tend to fall towards our hand I just did it on my BMX bike today and tore my hands up so I get it I get it completely you like we go towards our hands so inherently we would want to protect our hands in case we do fall off of the bike but I don't know there's so many situations that I feel like they are and they aren't necessary 
and they help and they don't help. I guess it depends on the style of gloves and such. Um, I would like to get like a thin pair of riding gloves that I see a lot of people wear. I just haven't found any good ones that I like at any of the stores around me. And then as far as like nice gloves go, I mean I want to get like a full suit for sure but I don't have a bike for that like I'm not gonna be wearing a fucking race suit like I'm going to the track or like I'm gonna be on Isle of Man like I'm not that's not me right now like I don't know like point being is accidents can happen a lot of things can happen wear gear at your own rate and your own risks right like do things that you feel comfortable with and you know, just don't make mistakes. Just be smart. Prepare for the worst if that's what you're worried about. But I don't even really think about, like, the worst happening. I'm just... <laughs> I ride my bike, I'm not gonna crash, you know? Like, that's my mindset when I go out. I'm not gonna fucking fall. I'm not gonna put myself in a situation where I'm gonna crash. You know, that's, that's how I think. That's how I try to be as a person and when I ride so like it just i've been pulled over before i've dealt with the cops a lot and i've got out of a lot of tickets so i don't want to put myself in a situation where i have to get out of another ticket especially on a bike like it's not a fast bike it's not like i can just run from the fucking cops on this thing it's a fucking 500 cruiser bike for the city that maxes out at technically 95 miles an hour that i just magically happen to get to go 103 on the speedometer which might not even be three mile per hour right like i didn't track that with the gps so there's a lot of things to take into consideration with how you ride and I don't ride this in a way that I feel like I need to be super overly protected with gear or that I am going to end up in a hurt situation so that's it for the video I like how it looks what do y'all think I think it looks pretty fucking clean again like I said the only thing that sucks is you can see it is hitting the tank here but again when would you really ever be turning your wheels like that when you're riding um unless you're like moving around in a parking lot walking like i'm doing here and or turning it to park but uh yeah i don't know i like how it cleans it up it makes it really bare bones it looks really fucking sick i think the fender delete would be dope i think that might be the next play i don't really know so like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.